What's up, YouTube? Justin here. Today, I'm going to be doing a short, well-deserved review of this Paul flight deck. So, obviously, it is a 825 Paul flight deck that I purchased about a month ago, and I've been skating it for about a month. And as you can see, it worked out wonderfully for me. And no, I do not do power or no, I do not do board slides. Sorry. So that's why the graphic is still there like so. So the first thing I want to say about this deck is it does last longer and it is a lot more popular than your average seven layer maple wood board. The only different thing about this board is it's not going to snap on you and it's got a carbon fiber the composite layer instead of all wood. So it's there's like five layers of wood and then one layer of composite carbon fiber in between the wood, which is honestly pretty unique. And as you can hear, it's still snappy. Like I could still probably ride this deck, but the razor tail, because this um, board is so thin and so strong and durable, the when it razor tails, the edges get really sharp so I want to be careful and play it safer than sorry and go ahead and I swapped it out with the new deck that I posted, I believe, in yesterday's video. But that's basically all the flight deck is. There's literally, I have no complaints of it, no pressure cracks whatsoever, which honestly blows me away. And uh, I'm going to give it a good old 8 out of 10. I'd recommend it to any of you skaters that um, weigh a little bit more or possibly do bigger drops. I think it's definitely worth the price. It lasts a little bit longer, and it's definitely a lot more durable. A lot different kind of pop than your average wooden board, though. So if you're used to wooden boards, I don't know if you're going to like it or not. I personally enjoyed it, though. Hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.